Hey guys, in today's video, we're talking about how your backswing position can make or break your downswing. All right guys, so let's talk about how your backswing position can make or break your downswing. Now what I wanna focus on in this video is actually gonna be the depth or lack of depth in your backswing and how that affects the downswing pieces. But before we do that, I wanna to talk to you guys quick. Uh, we are gonna be putting more new content on GorgonoGolf.com. Our Facebook group is growing rapidly. When I talk to you guys all the time about me giving you feedback, I do want you guys to check that out so I can help you better with your own game. So I urge you guys to check that out. Now, backswing depth. The main point I wanna talk about is where you should get to at the top of the backswing or how to adjust based on where you currently are. Now, when I say backswing depth, I'm gonna pull out two little sticks here just to give you an idea. I'm gonna put one stick down on the golf ball line and I'm gonna put a secondary stick on the middle of my right foot, my trail foot. When I make a backswing, Backswing depth to me is really defined by two things, but the main part of it is where the butt of the club gets at the top of your swing. So from the down the line view, if you were to draw a straight line down from the butt of the club, most good players have that line in line with the middle part of the trail foot or right foot for me, all the way back to about the heel. Are there some players who get out towards the toes? Some and make that work, but mostly we're looking for butt of the club, in line with the middle of the right foot or the right heel. Now here's the point I wanna get across. For those of you that are looking to make some downswing adjustments, you have to understand that how you start transition, how you start the downswing is gonna be based on where you're coming from, right? We use the travel analogy all the time. If I'm gonna get from Pennsylvania to California or Pennsylvania to, to um, Florida, let's say, there's gonna be two different routes there, okay? Or from both of those states to Pennsylvania, where you're coming from is gonna dictate the route that you're gonna take. And more or less, when you make a backswing, the deeper that you get that butt of the club, or the more behind you this way, you get the butt of the club, the easier it is to have more rotation during your downswing. So the deeper the backswing, the easier it is to induce more body rotation during the backswing. Why is that so? Why would it be easier to induce rotation from deeper back compared to more vertical? Well, I want you to think about it this way. I'm gonna move these here for a second. It's basically right back to our old equal and opposite theory. When I make a backswing and I go back here and I get the butt of the club really far behind me, what do I have to do to get back to the golf ball? The more I go back this way, right? The more I have to come back down this way, right? So if I go in really far, I gotta get back out to the golf ball. How am I gonna do that? Well, I need to get the club working back out. Now that can all just happen through my arms working out, right? I'm also gonna need a good amount of body rotation to get the hand path back out. You guys with me on that? The deeper I go back this way, the more I have to turn my body to get the club back to the ball. If I make a backswing where I'm more up, like a Bubba Watson, do I need to turn as much to get the club back out to the ball? No, I do not, right? Because I can just come more straight back down and vertical with my downswing. I have no motivation from here to turn my body a lot because I'm right here, right? I can just have my arms work down. But if I'm deeper, my arms can't just work straight back down to get to the ball. They also have to work some amount out. And that outward motion of your hands working out to get back to the ball happens through body rotation. I think that's pretty clear and concise and simple. When I make a backswing, the goal here, I'll do my version of deep, is to get the club head more behind me. So I'm gonna just hit one normal. Now, what if I make a backswing and I go to vertical? So let's say, okay, Eric, I get that. Now, normally when I look at my backswing, I'm up here right? What do I need to feel to get deeper? And there's two or three things you have to focus on. When I make a backswing and I want to get my hands deeper, the more I turn my body, the easier it is to get deeper. 
the more I turn my body, what part of my body, everything, hips, chest, shoulders, the more I turn my body, the easier it is to get deeper. The earlier I turn my body, the easier it is to get deeper. If I make a backswing with no body turn, it's really hard for me to get enough depth. If I just allow my body to turn, that butt of the club goes where? Much farther behind me. So increasing belt buckle and hip turn and chest and shoulder turn during my backswing can help me get deeper. Here's what that feels like. And again, should all of you guys feel more body rotation and get deeper? No, but those of you who are too vertical, who don't get deep enough, you might wanna look at adding more body rotation. That's part number one. The second part is the overall hand path. When I make a backswing, hand path means my hands can go basically out, straight back, or in. One of those three options. Now, if I wanna get as deep as I can during the backswing, would it be beneficial for me to feel out, straight back, or in? It would be beneficial for me to feel in, right? So when I make my backswing, if I can get my hands working in, closer to my thigh, and continue in all the way up, that will be easier to get a little bit deeper. So I can put that together, increase body turn, and working my hands more in during my backswing will help, that was the best out of three I hit, I don't know if you could hear that, will help the depth. Now for me, I normally go too narrow, so that's beneficial for me. If you already go too far in, get too deep, have too much body turn, should you feel those things? Absolutely not. You should probably feel the opposite things, right? So hand path is one, the second one, and the last one really is where your left arm is in space. And it goes along with hand path, really, but when I make a backswing, if my left arm kind of goes straight back towards the camera, I'm gonna be vertical with my backswing. If my backswing goes, or my left arm goes more in, across my chest, across my pec there, the more in that goes, the deeper the butt of the club goes. So where my lead arm is in space will dictate that. So if you're lacking depth and you're more vertical and you wanna add depth to your backswing so that you can rotate easier during the downswing, because from a deep position, it enhances, right, or motivates you to open up to get the club back to the ball. What can you do to get deeper? We said there are three things. You can increase your body turn. So feel like your body's turning more or sooner relative to your arms and hands during your backswing, body opening sooner. You can feel your hands working in towards your thigh. Now, isn't that gonna suck the club inside, Eric? No, you still have to hinge and rotate your arm so it's neutral, but hands in and left arm in. And you can do all three of those. Big body turn, hands in, left arm in to increase depth during the backswing. Now what I would do if you're trying to do the backswing depth is do that first. Is that going to magically make your downswing perfect? No, but it's like a prerequisite. You put that in first and then you can begin the downswing phase. If you've been trying to rotate much more on the downswing and your backswing's up here and you're not able to do it, there's probably a reason why you can't rotate it. I would start with that. So get yourself deeper, give yourself feedback. You know, the drills for this are feedback that you would do. I would start with the feels that we just went over, figure out which one or all three of those feels get you where you wanna go. How are you gonna know that? Video right, live view, something along those lines. Get it deep first, confirm those feels, get comfortable with that, and then you can begin the downswing rotation. Luckily, we have nine million videos on that. We're gonna actually be doing a product um, training series on that, it's gonna be coming out soon, the next month or so. So start with these backswing piece. If you guys have any questions about that, leave me a comment down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you like this video, please do me a favor, click the like button down below, click the notification bell if you haven't, also please subscribe if you haven't. Another reminder, if you do want more instruction for you tailored from me, kagornogolf.com is our membership site. The link is in the description down below. Thank you guys.